So we have a brother who was cleaning out his vehicle. He drives a luxury vehicle, a black Mercedes Benz. He was in his driveway at his home, cleaning out his vehicle, and he had some bottles in his hand. And he was approached by two police officers who charged him and accused him of alcohol possession. Take a look. I'm shaking, I say, you know, today's not my day to die, you know? It's like a routine. It's gonna happen to me today. It's gonna happen to you, uh, um, somebody else in the black community tomorrow. One was a ginger beer, the soda, and the other one was a stout. So she pulled out all two and then she said, oh, this one is a soda, she put it down, and then she said, oh, this one has 7.5% of alcohol. So now she suspect that I was under the influence. So I said, madam, if you suspect me of committing um, a crime now, or committed um, drinking the, the, the alcohol beverage, I need you to do a field sobriety test right here, right now, or an an a breathalyzer test. I said, you could even take me to the hospital and draw my blood, you know, just to see if there's any alcohol in my system. No, no, she don't have time for that. The system is very oppressive because it's gonna take um, years, right? And then I gotta be living through this horror over and over again, you know, and the only thing you'd hear is that they're gonna focus on training, um, sensitivity training and these kind of things. But then at the end of the day, it's the same thing just keep happening. When these officers are found guilty, they're just relaxed, you know? But we're found guilty of, 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 of similar arms, smaller crimes, and we're sent away right away. When these things keep happening, I'm gonna keep fighting. So this was a clear cut case of cleaning while black. He was just cleaning out his vehicle on his property, minding his own business. And here come the racist police officers in the racist province of Quebec. And they detained him and charged him with alcohol possession. Fortunately, he fought this. He went to the Quebec Human Rights Commission. He went to the Youth Human Rights Commission. He filed a complaint with the police department and he won. It was concluded that this was a clear cut case of racial profiling. He was awarded $18,000 by the Quebec and the Youth Human Rights Commission and each officer involved had to pay him $4,000. As you see, this brother said, he will keep fighting as long as this happens. And that is what we all have to do, especially in Montreal where there are no body cams. So kudos to this brother, please, all of us, anytime this happens to us, anytime we're racially profiled, we have to fight, 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 and make sure that we expose them and get rewarded. Let me know what you all think about this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel, EA Public Relations, where I report on black owned businesses and events across the province of Ontario. Until next time, please be safe brothers. Peace be.